now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Sadly, Michelle, we're still months away from convertible weather here in Rhode yeah, Island. It's exactly. more like shovel, crank the heat, ice scraper weather. We'll yeah. probably need all three in the next couple of days, right? I do think we will. I think we'll be doing a little shoveling, and we may end up with more snow from this new second round of wow. snow that we've been keeping an eye on here today than with the, what's headed our way tonight. So we've got a lot to get to. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Uh, we are dry right now. We've been kind of in and out of the sun in spots this morning, but clouds will only continue to thicken, and the steadier snow is still off to our south and west. It really has not moved much since you know, 4 or 5 o'clock this morning. It's been confined to western Connecticut, uh, parts of New York City, and now western Long Island. And what I expect to happen is that this will slowly start to be on the move, arriving in Hartford probably by early evening and then into our area late evening and overnight. So top weather headline, we're now looking at two rounds of snow by Sunday with light to moderate accumulations when we total it all up. And I think one of the bigger issues will be the slick roadways that develop at times later tonight and then kind of off and on Saturday into Sunday. Live city cam pictures, kind of a hazy sky out there, 32 degrees the temperature, wind chill at 27. We've got a northeasterly wind today that's fairly light at about 5 miles an hour. We're all kind of in the lower 30s for temperatures right now. We wind out the view here, show you the uh, satellite and radar, and want to put this batch of snow on the move so you can see as it really puts a brakes on. It's running into dry air, so it's only very slowly moving, but this is getting organized. We've been talking last couple of days as those steadier batches of snow develop. You kind of get in a snow band, and depending on what parts of the northeast do, that's where we'll see the higher snowfall totals. But again, this starts to lift up to the north and east. By the time it reaches our area, it's lost some of its punch, and it starts to weaken a bit. So this afternoon, other than a few flurries, I think we are going to be just fine if you have travel plans, you're coming home from work, the kid's getting off the school bus, no major problems out there, even for the evening commute. Just flurries around about 32 early, then dropping down to about 30 degrees. Future cast, and this is new computer information just in, really holds off the steadies to the snow until the pre-dawn hours of Saturday. So even 11.30 at night, we're starting to see some steadier snow arriving in the nighttime hours. But it's Saturday in those early morning hours where we could still see some more snow pushing through, some accumulations, and then it starts to lift up to the north. Now there's a change in the forecast that we made this morning, and that's to bring in that second round of snow for Saturday night. And I'm going to show you that in just a second, but 35 Charlestown, 34 this afternoon in Coventry, northern suburbs, maybe a few flurries by the end of the day, a snow shower, Johnston at 34, and you can't rule out a flurry in eastern Massachusetts, but most of the day is going to be dry for you, uh, Fall River at about 35. So some steadier snow, especially as we approach midnight tonight. Temperatures will be dropping slowly into the 20s. This is just from round one. Still keeping us at about one to three inches of snow by midday on Saturday. Lesser amounts as you head towards the Cape and still looking at the potential for three or more inches off to our west. Now, round two, storm redevelops, this time much closer to us. This will overspread snow our way and uh, total accumulations, again, may end up a little heavier for Saturday night than what we're looking at for tonight. It's a situation that's really just developing a very uh, kind of complex uh, series of disturbances moving through. So I just want to give you a very, this is very preliminary uh, look at how much total, and we're talking from both rounds of snow, by Sunday morning, maybe three to seven inches, but I definitely Definitely check back in with Tony tonight because uh, the Saturday night system just kind of coming into view on our computer models over the day today. So we want to get a better grasp on that. But the bottom line is we're in a little bit of an active weather pattern here with three chances of snow in the next seven days. All right. Thank you very much, Michelle. This other one is just showing up on another yeah. huh? Yeah. Pesky, pesky system. A lot of them out there right now. Yeah. <laughs> thank thanks, you, Michelle. Michelle. Now,